the United States passes 27,639,000 coronavirus cases. More than 485,000 people have died from the virus. These are numbers from the Johns Hopkins University database. Here in Michigan, yesterday the state reported 852 new cases with 88 deaths. There are no new numbers released on Sunday. We expect another update tomorrow afternoon. And President Biden is scheduled to visit Pfizer's vaccine manufacturing facility in Kalamazoo County on Thursday. Now, the good news is that the United States is making progress in the battle against coronavirus. In fact, confirmed cases are falling and more people are being vaccinated. But officials do warn it's too early to get complacent with this deadly disease. COVID-19 infections are trending down. Much of the U.S. is seeing cases drop significantly, according to Johns Hopkins University. Within the next few weeks, we'll see substantial decreases in deaths in nursing homes and people over 65. And that is an impact of the vaccines kicking in because they're quite protective. However, health officials stress the pandemic still poses a serious threat. We've had three surges. Whether or not we have a fourth surge, is up to us and the stakes couldn't be higher. The University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation projects another 130,000 deaths in the U.S. by June 1st. We really need to do the hard work to make sure that there's universal masking, there's uh, strict six feet of distancing between, that there's cohorting or potting so that um, there's, there's a restriction of disease if it were to be transmitted. In addition to those preventative measures, the U.S. is focused on getting more Americans vaccinated. Currently, the U.S. is giving an average of a million and a half vaccinations per day. 